Breaking tonight now, two top elected officials are calling on the feds to take over Rikers Island and are expected to introduce a resolution to the city council tomorrow. This comes a week after the controversial death of Joshua Vallis, who was being held there. Last night, or rather tonight, CBS 2's Lisa Rosner with an exclusive interview with one of the last people to speak with the 31-year-old before he died. He was loved. I, I need people to understand that. These photos of 31-year-old Joshua Valle smiling and singing karaoke are how he's being remembered by the staff at the nonprofit On Point, who say he visited almost every day for nearly three years. On Point operates two overdose prevention sites in East Harlem and Washington Heights. Very gentle and kind. Joshua had a developmental delay. And it was very apparent. Valle's attorney says he died more than a week ago at a hospital from a skull fracture, a different cause than what the Department of Correction allegedly told the federal monitor. Valle's was being held on Rikers Island since April, accused by the DA of breaking into this Harlem pizza shop and stealing four tablets. The judge set bail at $10,000 because the DA said he didn't show up to court for previous arrests. His attorney has said Valle's had a drug addiction. The staff at On Point says they were in touch with him regularly, even while he was on Rikers Island. Denise Barkley says she had a video visit with Valles the day before he was taken to the hospital. Did he say if he had been in a fight or anything like that? He never that? said anything like that. He was just happy to be speaking to me. He knew he was being released to treatment. Then they had housing set up for him and he wanted to work. Public advocate Jumani Williams and the New York City controller inspected Rikers Wednesday. Williams says Valles is the 20th person to die there in the last 18 months and is now calling on the feds to step in and appoint an outside expert who would have the authority to set new rules and practices. We did see some issues there, uh, detainees who are uh, shackled hand and foot uh, for lengthy periods of time. No one on either side of those bars is safe in a statement, the mayor said he and the DOC commissioner are committed to fixing the city's jails, saying in part, we have been working diligently to turn the Department of Corrections around, reducing violence, bringing officers back to work, and working with all our partners to improve conditions. There has been a lot of progress, as Controller Lander and Public Advocate Williams have acknowledged, and a federal receiver will not magically fix decades of dysfunction and mismanagement. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.